All right, guys. Well, here we are with another snowstorm. It started a couple hours ago, and it's really not all that bad. They uh, they said their call for three to five inches tonight, and another three to five inches during the day tomorrow. Um, it is actually Wednesday night at 11:34. And they said by Friday morning, by 4 a.m. Friday morning, we will probably see somewhere in the vicinity of 8 to 10 inches. So, who knows? They're never accurate anyway, but we'll see what we get. And uh, last time I made a plowing video at night, I used the GoPro. And for some reason, the nighttime plowing video didn't show up at all. It, it was crappy. I tried watching it back uh, after I uploaded it. I should have watched it beforehand, but you know, it was pretty dark. So I have the Sony camcorder that I've, I make a lot of videos with. I actually bought a dash mount um, that I just have with... Uh, 3M double-sided tape I have stuck to the dash and to the bottom of this mount and the bottom screws up into the bottom of either my my GoPro action cam or screws up into the bottom of this cam just like a tripod would so it seems like this one shows a little better light so we'll give it a shot and uh, see what happens I uh, I'm gonna start off with hitting some of these apartments here that I do uh, and we'll we'll see how bad it is. I don't think all too much snow is falling yet. Uh, these contracts are anything two inches and above, so we'll see what happens. We'll see how how much is actually in here. But uh, I pulled the wings off the plow, and I just have the uh, you know just the plow on there now without the wings. So we'll, we'll give it a shot and see what they. See what it looks like. I don't really see too much snow here. But we'll see. Oh, it looks like it pushed up a little bit. I guess we'll, uh, Clean these up and see how it goes here. I'm sure I'll be back again by morning to uh, to do them again, depending on what happens tonight. But uh, like I said, they're calling for more snow, so you know we'll we'll see what happens. It's actually the first time I've plowed too with the new. Uh, strobe lights I put on the strobe light bar in the back and then the new ones in the front grill um, you guys have seen those in my other videos so you got a, an idea what those are like but uh, we're, uh, they seem like they're working pretty good think this snow is really gonna amount to all that much but I guess we'll see we'll see what happens you definitely feel a difference it's the first time I plowed with this new blade without the wings on it I definitely feel a difference the way it lifts up usually the uh, usually the truck comes up higher when I lift the blade up Them wings really aren't all that heavy but they do make a difference that's for sure um, make a difference in the weight and they definitely make a difference in uh, you know like all this uh, this little section of trail off I have going on right here from these pushes I made forward I wouldn't have any of that if it was if I had the wings on it just doesn't leave that as you guys have seen in my other videos 
but uh, either way, we will, uh, I wanted to see how well it did. And it, it looks pretty good. It's raising up pretty good. Having this backup cam is sweet, I'll tell you that much. I'm liking this. I just got to remember to not pay too much attention to the backup cam to the point where I'm not watching my, uh, not watching my mirrors to see where the edges of my blade go when I back up. Yeah, that trail off is, man, <laughs> it's almost like I'm doing last year's plowing with the old blade. Totally different not having those wings. That is for sure. But I can definitely see in my backup cam how bright that, uh, that rear strobe bar is. That's for sure. I don't know. I can see myself doing a lot more work and a lot of extra pushes without those wings on there. Nice and fun to give it a try, but I think I might be throwing those things on. Just because. Why well, do all the extra work if I, uh, if I don't have to? all these passes of trail off. I caught the edge of the blade there. Alright, enough of this shit. Time to throw those, uh, time to throw those wings on. Give me one second guys, while I go out here and take care of this.
All right. Now that I got those on. I'll clean up all these uh, all these areas I left here. Ooh, I'll watch those wings. better. I'm not too concerned with each individual parking space right now. I'm uh I know I'm going to be back again probably tonight and there's a good chance that I will be back tomorrow during the day as well. So I'm just going to concentrate on getting the main areas open right now so people can still drive in and out. That's the, uh, that's the main part. They're going to want to be able to get in and out of the parking lot. So as long as they can do that, the people I have the contract through should uh, stay pretty happy anyway. And they're the, the main ones I need to, uh, to keep happy. As long as they're happy, everything's good. And I keep my contract. And then don't have to worry about them firing me and calling somebody else. So, which I have not had any complaints yet, so I'm not all too worried by any means. I'm just gonna push this right up to the edge there. I will concentrate more on uh, pushing it up higher in and stacking it once we get heavier snow but as for right now I'm not overly concerned with it there's not too much I really need to worry about pushing um, curves right over there somewhere. Looks like my uh, truck is acting kind of funny there. The way it's steering, and it definitely should not be. I, uh, I don't know if you guys watched that video I made earlier today on um, doing the oil change on the truck and getting everything greased up and all that fun stuff. But uh, I also found that my truck has been driving weird lately and you know, I, I don't know if you guys are anything like me, but when things like that start happening, I start thinking of the serious things, and sometimes I just get so involved in it, I forget all about the basic things. Um, so I started thinking that something was wrong as far as, um, as far as the, uh, the steering was going. The steering was getting real tight. It didn't seem like it was, it was steering the way that it should be. Um, 
and so I was eager to get it up on the lift today and grease up everything I could find the front end make sure everything was greased the way it was supposed to be but come to find out my tires were sitting between 32 and 35 pounds each every one of them well the 17 inch tires that are on this truck are rated for 65 pounds a piece when the tires are cold so I filled all the tires up to 58 pounds and now the truck is steering much better than it was before however it doesn't seem like it doesn't seem like the blade is scraping on the ground quite like it was before now the truck has a two inch leveling lift kit in it but still that should uh that should not keep the blade from scraping right on the ground like it should because uh, this blade goes down plenty far enough. And I guess it's just the sound that's getting me thinking that. Because even though I can't really hear it scraping, I'm looking at the parking lot and it seems to be doing exactly what it should be doing. So. I guess it's probably alright, I would think. This is just like a wet powdery snow. It's not real like thick or sticky or like any of that uh, crappy stuff. It's just, uh, it's not the heavy wet lake effect snow that this area is used to. Just some heavy wet powder, or just some, uh, light powdery stuff. Oh, if you guys hear that rattling type sound that it's making in the front end over there again. Only does it certain times. I still have not figured out why. I have looked at this truck at every angle for everything and there's nothing loose. I thought it sounded like a an exhaust uh, heat shield and that's actually exactly what it sounds like but the heat shield is perfectly fine no issues there um, so I don't know what it is to be honest with you it's that's fine there's uh, the tires aren't scraping anywhere anything like that so, I don't know, to be honest with you, what it is. I know it's rather irritating. I do know that much. Well, that takes care of those two parking lots like I said I'm not too overly concerned with doing the uh, each individual parking space because I know I'm gonna be back so I'm not gonna devote too much time to doing just that and they're not bad right now anyway people can easily get in and out of them to uh, park there Just trying to keep the main entryways open, that's all. Still coming down, but it's really light. I don't really see, uh, I don't really see that much of a big deal as far as snow goes right now. 
They say it's going to accumulate to a lot. I don't know, maybe it will, but nothing from what I'm seeing right now, I'll tell you that. I guess we'll find out as we go on. The city's obviously been out plowing already. They've scraped these roads up pretty good. We'll uh, see what happens. I've been watching the screen on this camera and it seems like it's seems like it's recording better than the GoPro did. Um, as far as nighttime plowing goes, seems like it's showing uh, a lot better, a lot more clear. So I guess we'll keep rolling with it, and uh, we'll see what happens later or tomorrow or whenever the hell I get back home to upload these videos. hefty pile there but uh it definitely when you're when I'm pushing it or driving on it it doesn't look like very much snow at all but once I start pushing it and get it up into a pile there's uh there's definitely a little bit there right here because I know the city ain't gonna do it for them I'll just keep pushing snow right back into those entrances which is kind of shitty for the people that live here some of these people have SUVs and that makes it all right but a lot of these people have little cars so once the city wind rolls it all right into the entrance there that kind of screws them either getting out or getting in they got to make a run for it well if they make a run for it coming out of there then they get sliding and then they can't really do anything they need to do and it could put them in trouble once they get out on the street get them in a wreck or something hopefully nothing like that happens now that we get them clear it out for them. Hopefully it helps them out. stoop that sticks out right there and I attempt to avoid it every time but sometimes I end up catching that thing this one here is not too bad but it still trips my plow every once in a while starting to slide a little bit there but I was only in two-wheel drive pushing all that up so well that's some hardened up snow that didn't melt yet <laughs>
like that door was cracked open a little bit there. Hoping nobody come walking out of that thing when I go pushing through there. This backup cam's nice, but it does have its flaws. You can only see right behind you and then a very little bit to the sides, not much at all. It, uh, it definitely helps and makes a difference, but it's not great by any means. Uh, I'm glad I have it though. Noise drives me crazy that creaking noise when that plow goes up but I don't know what the heck that is either I've uh, I've attempted to grease the the pivot points on this plow and I thought maybe that would make a difference but it seems like it's going to uh, creak anyway so I'm not really sure Maybe eventually I'll figure it out and uh, could make a big difference. video might be boring you guys as you've seen me plow these apartment complexes and all my other videos but it's uh it's a good way to get some good footage because they take the probably the longest time to do out of any of the things that I plow but we'll uh when I get to doing the driveways and all that stuff I do those usually uh, those are usually spread uh, quite a bit of distance apart from each other so it's kind of you're getting more of me driving than you're getting to me plowing
Some instances like this right here, that backup cam works pretty good. Clip my wing off the edge of that one. this lady to go. I don't want to run nobody over.
knew there was a curb there somewhere. Just didn't know where.